Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I honestly, you know, it's a little bit too early to kind of talk about this. iOS 13 just came out, we just got the new iPhones, but I figured we might as well kind of get the ball rolling. It was about a year when I did my iOS 13, like what we can see type of video. So I figured I might as well do this for the iOS 14 update. Now these are all speculations. We have really no way of verifying any of these things. And I'll be honest, a lot of these things came from my iOS 13 video I did last year as well, because even though iOS 13, no, it brought dark mode, it brought some cool enhancements here and there, it still didn't bring as many things as at least I thought it was going to bring. So there's still a couple things Apple can work on, and I'm going to go ahead and try to do my best to even explain or even show what I mean by these things. And I don't think any of these things are out there. There's already, you know, competitors are already doing things like this. So if Apple can go ahead and, you know, add some of these things with the next version of iOS, it should be dope. And I think Apple is really going to make this next one a whole UI refresh, hopefully. I know we've been saying this for like the last like 30 years, but a girl can dream, you know, I wanted to see these things happen. So the first thing is actually hidden Siri. We've actually, you know, it's not completely hidden. Instead of taking up the whole screen, you can go and just get a little pop up up top. We've already had so many jailbreak tweaks do this. We've seen so many things already being able to do this, but Apple just doesn't want to input it into the native OS. So I think this next couple of versions of iOS 13 are going to kind of, you know, maybe, I don't know, allude to some, some of these features, but if we can get some type of hidden Siri, that would be really, really cool. Like I said, not completely hidden, just a little pop up of top. And that would really distinguish, you know, from even iOS devices compared to other their competitors, because I've seen like after using the Google Pixels and the Samsung One UI 2, the Bixby buttons, the Google Home or Google UI, whatever that is, Google Now, sorry, those things still take up the whole entire screen for the most part. So Apple can kind of get an edge on if they do this. And kind of going in the same vein, same line, it's like, like whenever we get a phone call, that also takes up the whole entire screen. So if we can get some type of, you know, thing where the phone call also comes up top, and like I've stated, we've already seen jailbreak tweaks do this. So I don't think it's going to be like a crazy thing to ask for. I think Apple can really kind of, you know, learn from their past and they haven't even changed this thing since forever. And sometimes I have a ways to decline it. Sometimes I have a ways to slide to listen to it. It's like, why are they so different every single time? So hopefully Apple can add those two things. And that's kind of the easier ones to definitely say, I'm pretty sure they're going to add some type of variations of those so that's hopefully they're going to do that now these next three things i'm going to hit on are kind of out there i could see them doing it but at the same time i could see them you know it's going to be kind of harder to implement and the first thing is led notifications okay if ming chi ko and all these other people are right then next year's iphones are all going to be oled displays having some type of led notification on the display would be so awesome so basically like if we get a notification if we get whatever and i've demonstrated this before and there's jailbreak tweaks that do this a red dot could mean like oh this is a call that you missed a blue dot could mean a text message and it would just light up those specific pixels on the screen so it wouldn't be like lighting up the whole entire display just those specific pixels on oled devices like if we own an ips panel phone like an iphone 8 or an iphone 10 or iphone 11 then those won't necessarily be suitable for led notifications so i could see how apple could even like advertise the newer phones by having that feature you know because if all phones have oled displays then they could easily just port this over to all the new iphones which i really hope they do that's something i really hope they do and if they can do that that'd be really really awesome now the next thing i've demonstrated this before i'm there's jailbreak tweaks that do it mac os does this obviously mac os does this but ipad os does this too and that's multi-screen multitasking <laughs> Not multi-screen, just multitasking, you know what I mean? Split screen, split view, whatever Apple calls it. Why isn't that capable on the iPhones yet? You know what I mean? Samsung has this. All Android phones, for the most part, have been having this for a long time. And that could really, really impact the usability of a phone. I, there's been so many cases where I've been using, like, you watching a YouTube video. And I want to go and be, be on the like, Chrome browser as well or go on Safari. But I can't. So I have to go and e either do one or the other. And if Apple can go and do some type of multitasking or split view, that would be awesome. And it's not like Apple has to go and re-engineer everything. iPad OS already had it. iOS 12 and 11 on the iPads had it for a long time too. So Apple could easily go and implement this as well. And I would really love them for it. Now to end it off, I'm pretty sure Apple could possibly add an always on display on iOS 14 for the newer OLED devices, even for like the iPhone 10. And the reason I think that, well, first of all, the advantage of this would be, you know, being able to see your notifications 
things, the time, all those things, which LED notifications could add too. But if Apple doesn't add the LED notifications, they could always put an always on display on it. And many phones have had this. I think the Nexus 6P had it, which was awesome. My Samsung Galaxy's phones have this as well. It's a really cool feature. OLED displays, you know, that's one of the huge advantages. You can just light up those specific pixels. Now, one cool thing and one thing that makes me believe this is that the Apple Watch 5 that was just released actually has an always on display. So Apple could possibly be working on some type of technology to make the iPhones, the newer iPhones on iOS 14, have an always on display as well. You know, there's no guarantees, there's no nothing. That's kind of like a huge speculation. But if Apple could do that, that would literally be awesome and I would love them for that. So those are just a couple of things of iOS 14 that I hope they bring. Again, no promises. There's no way to verify any of this. But if they could do that, that would literally be awesome. There's probably going to be way more speculations or way more rumors coming out in the next couple months. But I figured I might as well drop something now to kind of put a pin in the needle to kind of start talking about iOS 14. Hopefully Apple does these. If they do, that'd be awesome. But there's probably going to be way more features added as well. So I literally cannot wait. iOS 13 has been pretty stable so far. So let's go and see what iOS 14 is going to bring. But that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.